invited onto a, onto a radio show, um, and it was the first big radio thing I'd ever done. Um, and it had been booked for ages, and I was going to play I Need Something, so I'd been rehearsing. The, the, I'd been really going for it with that. Uh, and then three days before, um, I got a very panicky phone call from someone saying, look, I've just found out um, you're meant to be doing a cover on the radio show. And I was like, ah. He was like, well, you must have something. What have you got? And I was like, absolutely nothing. <laughs> So I ended up, I spent three days really manically working out random tunes. And Teardrop, I did actually, I picked it up and, and I put it down. Because I didn't think I'd be able to get it. I, I didn't think, I thought three days wasn't long enough to get it, get it right. Um, so I'd done that. I'm just trying to think, there's quite a long list of things I looked at. But then at the, at the meeting, which was the next day, so I'd spent like a whole day working out tunes. Uh, and I could tell that everyone, everything was quite tense and people were really, really starting to panic. So I thought if I went into the meeting and did something just completely ridiculous as a first cover, I thought they'd, um, it would kind of help. I thought it would chill them out. I'm not going to lie, it did almost the complete opposite of that. <laughs> it did actually make them quite angry. But um, <laughs> this, is, this, is what, this is what I played at the beginning of the meeting, sitting on a sofa with two guys. It was quite serious. One of them was wearing glasses. Um, the other one was sweating. <laughs> and this is what I did. <laughs> you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a rocket, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a rocket, baby, right round. Oh man, look at me, you lie, lie, lots of fun, open up your little gnomes, watch out here I come, you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a baby, right round, round, round. 